Let's delve a bit deeper though into today's recovery mission and how our operations will take place. This mission is the ultimate recovery test. While the team has simulated a mid-air recovery in the past, as I mentioned before, this is our first attempt at the real thing. The helicopter we'll use in today's operations is a Sikorsky S-92 helicopter, specifically modified with an auxiliary tank to allow for extra fuel to complete today's offshore mission. For anyone unfamiliar with this vehicle, it is a massive machine, roughly the size of a bus, normally used in search and rescue operations or to ferry large groups of people. The S-92 size and the power of its twin engines are being utilised today to manage the approximately one tonne weight of Electron's booster. The helicopter's capture zone is about 150 nautical miles off New Zealand's coast. The helicopter will wait in this area, a safe distance from where Electron is expected to return, before it attempts the catch. To do this, the S-92 is equipped with a long line with a capture hook that will be used to snag in Electron's parachute cable as it slowly descends over the ocean. To practice our rocket catching skills, we've carried out many mid-air capture tests prior to this mission. These were conducted by dropping an Electron first stage test article from a second helicopter, deploying the stage's parachute and then using the S-92 to catch the stage as it descends. And I'm going to take you through a quick rundown also through the recovery process once today's mission leaves the pad. At about two and a half minutes after liftoff, Electron's first and second stages will separate like normal. Electron's second stage will continue on to orbit for payload deployment, while Electron's first stage will reorient itself and begin its descent back to Earth. It does this with tiny thrusters on the main body to tilt the first stage on the correct angle to slice through the atmosphere on the way back down. After deploying a drogue parachute at 13 kilometres or 8.3 miles altitude, the main parachute will be extracted at around 6 kilometres or 3.7 miles above Earth. This double deployment of chutes will help to dramatically slow the stage to a speed of just 36 kilometres or 22.3 miles per hour. This is expected to take place from about 8 minutes and 12 seconds in the mission. As the stage enters the capture zone, our helicopter will swoop in and rendezvous with the returning stage and capture it by its parachute line. 